Friday, most all of uh, Central New York's students will be back in the classrooms, and before we know it, Halloween will be here. But parents beware, because some Central New York school districts have changed their policy about Halloween parades. As News Channel 9's Olivia Eugenio shows us, one superintendent made the change because of safety concerns. With back to school shopping in the rear view, next stop, Halloween. But before you can stock up on the candy and costumes, you might want to check with your school. West Genesee is one of the districts that's changed its policy. We, we spent the whole summer working with uh, threat assessment teams, mass casualty experts, school shooting experts as part of the Onondaga County School Safety Task Force. And, you know, one of the things that they all said to us was we want to limit exposure to potential problems. And the Halloween parade that we've held for a while. It's just one of those areas where we, we've got to move in a different direction. Instead of having kids show off their costumes outside in a parade, the district will have tricks and treats inside the buildings. And yes, costumes will be allowed. The district hopes that, along with a carnival at the high school, will suffice. Like any decision you make as a leader, you know, some people are going to be outraged and some people are going to be very supportive. And I think this decision, you know, a Halloween parade is, has fallen right into that category. It's, it's a difficult one for some people to swallow, but I, I, I always say you, you, can't, you can't have safety out of convenience. You got to be safe all the time. But what sign are you on? We posted on our Facebook page, and here are some of the responses. Tracy says, let kids be kids. What else will they take away? Birthdays, this is getting ridiculous. There are regulations on Halloween costumes to help with safety in schools. Megan says, I think it's awful. Our kids don't get to do anything fun anymore. It's a wonder us adults ever lived through our childhood. And then Brenda, she had a lot to say. She said, I think it's sad and necessary as it's a huge security risk and schools have to think about security all the time. And if you'd like to weigh in, you can head to our Facebook page. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Christy? A lot of people weighing in. Olivia, thank you. Other districts are split on Halloween parades. The Syracuse City School District has never had parades, so there's nothing to cancel. The Central Square School District says it's still parade-friendly, but students are told not to wear masks or bring fake weapons.